Welcome to the world of discovery. We are back. Uh, this is the second episode of our webinar series, uh, hosted by, of course, Discovery Hospitality Corporation. I'm Kathy Nepomuceno. It's nice to be back. And here with me, of course, again, uh, is Chris Yu, a uh, professional athlete, an avid traveler. Chris, how are you today? Thanks for Hi, joining me again. Uh, doing good, doing good. Excited for today's episode. Yes. So as mentioned earlier, just for everyone who um, missed the first uh, webinar uh, that we had, um, we decided to have a webinar series just to touch base with our clients, our friends in the industry. And basically, it's really just about discussion um, as to where we're at in, in the current unprecedented um, happenings in the world and where we're headed. So it, it's really every two weeks we are going to be live in our Facebook page and we will have interesting discussions. So today our topic is, Chris? Okay, today um, our topic is about uh, health and safety. So health and safety and sanitation are the, the top of everyone's priority list right now, and we can expect this to continue as we move forward. This new normal of heightened awareness can be quite an adjustment, both for companies and customers. Now, this week's episode focuses on how these changes have affected us and how we can keep offering warm, heartfelt service despite the distance. Okay, so before I continue, I'd just like to invite all our viewers to please follow uh, the Discovery Hospitality on social media. That's uh, Discovery Hospitality Corp on Facebook and Discovery underscore Hospitality on Instagram. And just to remind everybody, there will be a new episode every two weeks. The next right. episode will be on June 17 at 3 p.m. Okay, so let's begin our episode by introducing our yeah. distinguished guests for today. First up, Drew Arellano. Hey, Drew. Drew is the man Hi, behind Drew. the hit travel show, Biahe Ni Drew, on GMA News TV and on YouTube. The show has taken him all over the Philippines to showcase the beauty of the islands and the rich, distinct culture of each destination. If there's anyone who knows something about keeping the spirit of travel and adventure alive, it's definitely Drew. Hey, Drew. Hey, how you doing? How's, how's, good, how's good, everyone good. doing? Uh, thanks like for being here. <laughs> hey, I'm happy to be here. I mean, a lot of people don't know how uh, important this the discovery group is. You know, is is, is part of my life. It, it's been it's been part of my life ever since before. So, kahit hindi pa ako kinasal sa aking asawa, so uh, I'm very happy to be here with my wife. Great, great. Pagkasapu punta para sa girls eh. Hanggang gym lang siya, hanggang fourth floor lang or fifth floor, yeah, fifth floor lang. Hanggang fifth floor lang, di ba Drew? I hope so. I hope so. gym lang ako pati twenty second floor, C one, C one. Second, oh, yeah. fourth and fifth lang, and then twenty second. Nothing in between, no? Nothing in between. It depends, okay. no? If I get invited, I mean, hey, who knows? Ow, ow. Okay, so let's introduce the wifey. If there's someone yeah. who knows how to juggle it all, it's TV personality and actress Ia Villana. Arellano, between her yeah. career and being a mom of two, and soon to be three, yeah. she and Drew also make sure to leave room for travel. The family has a YouTube vlog that chronicles their adventures together called Life with the Arellanos. Hi, Ia. Thanks Hello. for being here, too. Of course. Thanks for having us. I know it's sleeping time for your boys, but um, you chose to be here instead of putting them to sleep. What a tough choice, though. No? <laughs> yeah. it's, fine. it's fine you know sometimes we just have to adjust yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. Uh, so you're just waiting uh, for right. man, man. You, got, you got you got to adjust man you gotta adjust, okay man. all right Thank kathy you would you like to introduce our two other guests yeah, for today of course uh the two others are our very esteemed colleagues in the group uh ladies first miss janice tambeng of course, we call her nice. She is currently the general manager of Discovery Suites. Uh, nothing new to, uh, it's almost like a home to Drew, as what he mentioned earlier. Hi, nice. Thank Hello. you for Hi, joining everyone. us. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy and Chris, for having me. Thank you. Hello. Yes, Hello. and of course, last but not the least, 
our vice president and executive chef and head of food and beverage for the entire Discovery Group, Anthony Raymond. Hi, Anthony. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for allowing me to be part of this. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to actually discuss some of these important topics. Thank you. Great. Looking forward. Looking forward. Yeah. Okay, That's let's right. begin. Uh, let's start with um, uh, very uh, light questions first. Yeah. Let's 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 direct this to to Drew and Ia. Um, it, with the the advent of this pandemic, now, mm. what, what are some of the health and safety changes that you guys have taken on personally at home? Wow. Ah. Well, I I I use. PPE whenever I take a bath. You know. um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, uh, <laughs> um, Am I asking the wrong guy? Maybe I should ask oh. you. <laughs> yeah, I think you, you asked the wrong person. But no, no, no. But uh, seriously, uh, it, uh, it, it, it totally changed how you know I view things. I'm sure because my, my wife has always been OC, very, mm -hmm. very, very, very clean. It's funny. Um, actually, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty relaxed. No, you're pretty. Period. Correct. <laughs> I'm I'm actually really relaxed here at home, especially mm. like with the kids. I, I used to just let them get dirty. Germs. They need that. They need that to you know. You need antibodies. You need antibodies. Mm, true. But mm -hmm. well, now it's just not the time. <laughs> <laughs> So everything has been like, okay, wash hands, alcohol. It even reached a point now where I was getting skin right. around right. my wrist from, you know, from all of the hand washing, from all of the... Right. Just to be sure. Mm -mm. Right. Mm -mm. Eventually, my... Uh, my yeah, but um, these are things that we've been having to... Uh, that we've been having to get used to. Can you hear yeah. us? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, of course, uh, we've also gone to the extent of having a sanitizing mat or a disinfecting mat in our front door mm -hmm. um, where you put like, you know, like strong chemicals and those, those strong solutions yeah. to disinfect your shoes. Pretty much like muriatic acid, actually. <laughs> 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 I mean, and also we don't even let shoes inside the house anymore. Before we right. let them in with, with okay. shoes, and then just but them take them take them off uh, uh, before you actually enter the play area. But now it's like don't even enter the house with your mm -hmm. shoes on. Leave them outside. So yeah, we've we've gone to these kinds of extent. Um, another thing is well with our food, uh, lang, even before COVID happened, we already got used to ozonating our food. Yeah. So, so that that uh, oh, that helps no. with you know killing bacteria. So at least I know with that, um, okay, kami. So that was something that we were already used to doing. Uh, feel has been helpful during COVID. If, uh, I mean, um, what's ozonating? If people don't know, uh, ozonating. It's just a, it's a it's a procedure where you know when you ozonate food, um, it's it kills a bacteria. Yeah. Just so the vegetables, it's, it's like, just raw vegetables, like or raw food, for vegetables, or for fruits, for for meats, for meats, for, for any meats of also. food that's going anything to be raw. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Mm, okay. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. For sure. So who's the death? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, you go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I was, I was gonna. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if my internet is lagging or. <laughs> <laughs> or okay. we're just not connecting, I don't know, uh, well, Kathy, but <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Kathy. I was going to pick up on, on their answer, right. uh, go, directing please. it to Chef Anthony, because, you know, it's, I know uh, for sure, Anthony, you're, you're a bit of an OC even in your home, right? So with the recent... Um, changes that we've had to apply in our hotels and wh what were the adjustments for you or just really not much for, for you personally? Are you, um, can, are you asking personally or here in the hotel? Well, well both ways. Okay, um, personally I think um, it's funny it's like when I do my grocery shopping uh, as soon as I come back it, sounds, it feels like a 
like I just came through a military zone and my wife, she's like, Anthony, I mean, I had to take off my entire gear. I mean, it feels like this sense of accomplishment of just getting a, That's right. a, a case of eggs or bananas <laughs> or oranges, you know, disinfecting, closing it down. I mean, and I mean, what I've noticed is like, there's no wastage at all. You know what I mean? It's like, you stick to your list, you're going through it. Mm. So, I mean, the heightened, um, the heightened awareness, I think at home, you know I mean? Uh, especially with my wife, it's actually been, yeah, pretty intense. Uh, I think it's, it's tamed down a little bit, but on the first few weeks, <laughs> it, happened, it was a little intense. And of course, when you say with your wife, you, you don't even argue. You just, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, right so yes. Right. Yeah, that's right. Um, in the hotel aspect, I think um, we've actually, um, it's been, I don't, I'm not, how do I say, because we've actually have a very strong um, culture on hygiene and sanitation, um, we've actually established that about, about two or three years ago. Um, so I think it's a lot easier for us. It's something that is, um, of course, there's a few things about the, the staff, uh, the protective gear, the acrylic shields, right. but nothing major in changes in terms of the hotel of how we go about things. You know I mean? I think there's just more of a heightened awareness now. Um, the hand washing is extremely, extreme. I mean, now we actually have alarms every 30 minutes for staff to get aware on hand washing, hand washing procedures. Um, so I would probably say uh, in the hotel side, not many, many changes. I think uh, establishing our hygiene and sanitation culture has really helped. You know, I mean, I think I, I encourage that for all food establishments, restaurants, and hotels. Yeah. Okay. I guess it's just a matter of uh, re, re, uh, re, uh, reintroduce or emphasizing the importance more than ever now because yes. of what's happening yeah absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. yeah very true good chris okay yeah what's our follow-up let, let, let me go up oh sorry i, I was gonna um move on to the <laughs> to drew and ia as travelers this time so now let's assume that um we're moving into uh m gcq and things are starting to open up travel is slowly being allowed um what what would your first um preferred destination be uh, city country would it be in the philippines would it be outside um you know it's it's, it's a that's a very tricky question really um um and uh, you know i was discussing this with 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 ia a while ago it's like we don't because we you know we update ourselves with you know the latest you know, uh, news regarding COVID-19, you know, if, uh, and then we, at the same time, parang, we don't want to hear the news because it's, it's, it's a daily thing, right? It's, it's such mm. a grind now. And we are on our what, ninth week. Is it 10th oh, week? It's 11th, like 11. 11th week, right? Mm. So parang, I think for the first couple of weeks, we actually were trying to you know, check out the news. Uh, of course, still scared. We are, so, we, everything's new. Okay, what not to do? What to do? Diba? Parang, and dami nangyayari. Um, and then, parang, we, ako, personally, I got tired of hearing the news. All bad news. So, parang, I tried to, like, veer away now from reading such news. So, but, but, going back, would really, it's, what's important, before I actually, leisurely go to different establishments or you know um i guess uh you know very um places where in people are oops, sorry my kids are playing it there you go yeah before before i before we actually like you know leisurely travel to places i would definitely re you know do my own research and okay are there any updates uh, are, are there like guidelines specific um, made by the DOH that you know the establishments need to follow. So feeling ko, I I have to go back to to you know checking, checking and up, yeah updating myself again. So and I that would determine not, your choice. That would determine your choice of destination. Definitely because di ba, parang, um, it's important for us to you know um, listen to medical practitioners and people who pretty much are they have the right to actually be you know to to tell us the do's and the don't mm -hmm. times um and of course um 
it's, it's all about safety. Diba? Parang, I, for me, uh, it's gonna be hard to prioritize feeling good about myself when I, like, for example, go to a, to a beach. I will have to think about Sabihin na natin, if I'm going to be with my kids, it's all about their safety. It's not about having fun. It, that's not my mindset. So mm. for me, personally, it's going to be hard. Yeah. yeah. Safety first. For me, mm. Yeah. For me, what would determine is, well, I probably wouldn't choose a, a destination too far. Probably if I can get there by car, that would probably, anything that parang can limit. Yeah. Um, the amount of people or the that, chances, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, we can limit the amount of people that we have to go mm-hmm. through because you know, I mean, if we take a plane, then so the discovery then... suites, the lang daw kami. Staycation, the lang kayo. Oh, so the that'll be should, should we decide now, um, to go on a trip? Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> when do you feel like it's safe to okay, somewhere near lang where? Yeah, where contact is limited. Yeah. But then right. again, I totally understand though, na, for example, because, you know, I'm a family man. Um, but I, I do understand, you know, people right now who are alone. Uh, mm-hmm. They don't have any, you know, partner. They, they don't have kids. And they've been stuck inside mm-hmm. their studio or their houses exactly. for such a long time. Yeah. Yeah. And and definitely, they want to have like some happy get time. Out there. You want to get out there, which I totally That's understand, right. right? And if ever I'm gonna be part, you know, in in their shoes, um, I would probably go to, you know, an island because mm. I'm a, you know, I'm a beach kind of guy. But at the same time, nga parang I'm hoping, because I feel like I'm hoping people won't won't really fly or won't really travel for leisure yet. So probably some people can actually take that advantage. Diba? Use right. that advantage. Wala pa tao. That's right. Uh, diba? So be the first so, there. Be the first yeah, there before, be the first there. <laughs> before yeah. any re-emergence of a virus yeah. or whatnot. Egg. Yeah, exactly. Why not? <laughs> That's right. Okay, okay. So sometimes the less crowded areas becomes all of a sudden very attractive to a certain extent, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I have a question for Nice. You know, being the general manager of one of our first hotel, in fact, in, in the group. And, you know, in our, in our culture, um, our, our, our natural habits of treating our guests as if they're they're like family, as if they're mm. at home, uh, it has always been there, right? It it comes naturally for us, and I'm sure Drew and Inya can relate to this. Uh, how have you maintained that in the hotel? You know, I I'm asking this question tonight because she has never closed since ECQ, yeah. mm. so yeah. so um, she's one of the official hotels that are allowed to operate. To, to service the certain industries that we, we, we have to help out in terms of accommodation. So how have you, how, how have you continued that, that culture of caring uh, in Discovery Suites? Kathy, like what I tell you, it's not a walk in the park. That's right. It's very, very challenging because when the president announced the quarantine March 17 or 18, we, we initially didn't know what to do, right? So... You know, um, everyone's we're mer- wearing masks before that, but you know, how do you move forward with it? Mm-hmm. So you know, um, th- there's memos that came out. We follow what DOOT says. Um, we follow DOH. We are actually a BOQ, uh, a Bureau of Quarantine um, Accredited Facility, which is a uh, uh, very good. So again, you really have to strictly follow the protocols. But you know, the DNA of the Discovery Group is really heartfelt service. So it's not so easy to, you know, you have to be a bit creative on how you do things, but at the same time, ensure that people are protected and the employees are protected. Mm -hmm. So one thing that I can share, you know, we we were still operating, we were quite busy during um, the quarantine period. And, you know, the first thing that we did is, of course, take care of the employees, you know, all of the employees are sleeping here. So ever since the quarantine started, you know, we are all quarantined here. So, so you know, we, we do our service. Uh, we know that everyone's clean, everyone's uh, 
COVID free. Um, as for contactless service, I would say it's contactless for some time because um, we had to do everything digitally. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when, when somebody enters the hotel, of course, you have the sanitizing mats there, etc. You would see nobody at the desk. <laughs> so, mm. yeah. Ah. So, technically, all our reservations are done through phones. Before you arrive, you have to send the link. You have to complete the health form, etc. You will just get the key directly at the desk. So, medyo mahirap talaga siya. But, again, um, you can be really creative. We've started the Facebook community. Mm -hmm. um, this is for all the guests who are staying here. It's actually telling them, you know, where to go, where to buy food. We've actually done a few concerts. <laughs> We've done a few live shows um, since we're just all here stuck in the room. Online live. Oh, online. So our executive yeah. chef, um, Jerwin, has actually wow. done a few live shows. Plus, um, you know, the great singers here, they had a few performances. So we just have to be creative and make sure that the community inside here is still alive. I mean, right. we, um, I mean, the other problem is following the protocols and it's not so easy because everyone has to wear proper PPEs. Mm -hmm. Our housekeepers go inside the room of the guest all the time. So, of course, it's additional, you know, things that you have to buy for the property. But again, we are hoping that from a contactless service, we would somehow swift, swift to a contact light, you know. Mm -hmm. When uh, when the vaccine is there, hopefully I'm not sure when, but when everybody's used to, um, probably this type of lifestyle will, everything would be easy. We're very hopeful. So, again, it's it's hard, but uh, you know everybody's struggling. But we still um stick to what uh, Discovery Suites is, which is you know um it's our business to care and it's service to all, of course. Nice. Can I ask a question though? Yes, go ahead. So right now it's it's of course it's still contactless, no? Yes. Uh, and yep. and so pag pag contact light na pwede nang masahista one finger ganyan na lang. Pwede na siguro, gusto ko 'yan. Sa so sorry na lang. <laughs> <laughs> One meter, one meter apart, what? and one meter apart. Lang pwede. The same girl like gym. I know do you like our gym? Kasi di ba we right. have our activities in the morning and the evening. So we had to shut it down, of course, but Right now, we're not allowed to open the gym. Eh? We're not even allowed to take any rooms for leisure. But again, talking about the gym, we have to plan na like we can only allow probably eight people, five people at a time. Right. You know, how do you kind of sanitize it? You have that gym equipment there. Dapat may signage na yan na it says, okay, I'm working out, uh, whatever. And then you have to flip the signage and say, okay, after my workout, sanitize this. Madami na, I mean, you have to really be particular and detailed right. everything. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, nice you mentioned about the contact list, uh, check-ins, and um, picking out of the keys. Um, mm -hmm. How about when it comes to, I mean, that, that could, I, I could, you know, see that um, maybe uh, staying, that practice staying on, you know, moving forward even right. you know, after this. But how, how about when it comes to food, um, Chef? Anthony, um, how how is how do how are you able to serve the the breakfast or the other food requirements of, of the guests? Um, honestly, Chrissy, uh, so right now, um, how do I say? It? There is no playbook out there. I mean, we're doing the best we can, and I actually follow the guidelines. Um, right now, going uh, addressing your question about breakfast or how we serve, you know, how we're doing it is actually from first off. We're retraining all of our staff. We're in the proper protective gear, you know, and uh, that's actually done on the service side. But I think uh, a lot of my focus is actually in the back of the house mm -hmm. uh, on the kitchen side of it and just trying to explain to everyone uh, how to properly prepare the food. Um, but the, which has not really been the problem. I mean, I think uh, I'm very uh, proud of our, both our culinary team and our service team. Um, mm -hmm. They've been very receptive on and how to making sure that not only ourselves, but also, you know, the safety of our guests is actually the focal point um, mm -hmm. of all of our training, you know? Okay. So it's really the psychology just trying to ensure that the guests uh, coming into our restaurants or our hotels is, um, it's safe. But um, just going through the entire uh, protocols, I mean, it is Annotation. every day. It is something that we just kind of keep doing every day. And, um, but, um, you know, it's good to be part of an organization that actually has a culture that's already kind of embedded already. 
which is really good. You know what I mean? I'm not dealing with staff who don't want to wear a mask or I don't want to social distance. So mm -hmm. we're very fortunate in that case. Uh, yeah. So it's good. Um, but going back to it, I think we're just going to keep, you know, keep adding to uh, making sure that our trainings and our protocols that we're following, you know, all the guidelines and the rules. And um, we're always open to uh, criticism. We're also open to new ideas, concepts. And um, mm -hmm. as I said earlier, you know, this is a fluid yeah. thing and we're just doing the best we can. And okay. Very good job. Yeah, Thank you, Chef. I'd like yep. to add to that, you know, how yes, um, in Discovery Suites every weekend, we have a lot of people um, on staycation. And you mm -hmm. know how everyone enjoys that buffet? Exactly, so, in the fifth floor. You know, have that um, omelette station you're mm -hmm. looking forward to and that pagan station. And now all of a sudden it goes bento boxes and uh, play, you know, plated mm -hmm. meat. Yeah. So um, the th good thing is, you know, the clients and the customers, they're very understanding and they, they're, they're very, you know, they know what, uh, what should be done also and they accept it. Though, you know, you'll hear some people say, hey, can you do this for us? Uh, you know, can you cook this for us? Or can you like put this in the meal cycle? So we kind That's of right. like do uh, a certain add-ons, but you know, I think people miss the buffet so much, but mm -hmm. now, you know, we have to kind of really adjust and, uh, yeah. you know, everyone's adjusting, you know, every mm -hmm. here. Do they still get to order or it's all pre-packed and they just take yeah. the, the <laughs> pack meals to their rooms? Yeah, it's pre-packed. Eh. So um, mm. we have a very limited um, menu that we offer. So it's not like before that we do have like the whole array of um, 22 Prime and R5. For now, okay. while we're still on GCQ and we're not allowed to open. So we just offer a few few items, you know, that uh, yeah. we can uh, Speaking of food, uh, Nice and Chef, do you guys still, your, your, your deliveries are still uh, no, I was, no, I in was operation? Still Yes. Uh, you know, Drew, I was just going to say, um, the good thing about uh, both city hotels, Discovery Suites and Primea, we've decided to, to uh, have our all-time favorites ready for takeout and delivery. So That's good to know. It, yes. Good to know. So you can see it in our um, social media pages, Facebook, IG. Great, um, because I was thinking of order from, ordering from Discovery Shores. <laughs> oh. yeah. you know? Yeah. Let Actually, me know. that's that's in the works, right, Chef? Like. Oh, oh my goodness! Probably not the most cost-efficient way, you know, but uh, no, but 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 seriously, Chef. We, I mean, we've been. Uh, I I spoke to you about this uh, before we go. We 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 went live, but um, a lot of people have been raving about you know food coming out from the Primea kitchen. So I, I have yet to try that because we're, we're fans of, you know, um, 22 Prime and like pretty much generally the kitchen of Discovery Suites. Mm -hmm. um, so, we, yeah, we're, we're very excited to try out the, the pizzas. And... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. That'll be Chef fantastic. Chef send you samples. Yeah, honestly, Drew, let me know. I'll be sending some samples for you guys to try. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome, Chef. Yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're using this live platform so that you're forced to say, yeah, okay, we're, we're going to send. <laughs> 100%. 100%. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. But actually, I wanted to go back to what uh, Miss Nice said a while ago. I, it's, it's a very comforting to know that, um, of course, it's one thing because uh, as a customer and as a, I couldn't wait, if I were a guest uh, uh, staying in Discovery at this moment, um, what people normally think of is really themselves as right that you were able to keep your employees um, within the boundaries of, of, of discovery and to house them there. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I realized that that also really makes the guest feel safe knowing that you don't have people just coming in and out. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I like that you pointed true. that out. I didn't even think about that. Oh, no, no, but yeah, yeah. that is something that I would, now that you pointed it out, that's something that I would, I would look for. I would, because it makes me feel safe that, okay. So it's pretty much like the song Hotel California. You check in, but you can never check out. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, Drew. Yeah. <laughs> For your own safety. <laughs> For your own <laughs> safety. If the employees are safe, if the people cleaning your rooms are safe and healthy, yeah, that's true. then that's right. at least you know that 
you know, the place that you're staying. You got peace of mind. Yeah. Oh, it's yes, insane. you're right. And it's not only like the physical aspects that the hotel prepare for. Like, you know, now in our front desk, we we had this glass barriers na. So, um, ah, also for okay. our um, front desk agents are protected. And, you know, you have alcohol everywhere. But those are the things that you can see. So, the things that you can't see, you know, like uh, what happens at the back office or who actually prepares yeah. food right. or who actually cleans your room. Are they well? Are the temperatures checked? So, that, that, that's, our, that's our duty. That's our role to do. So, yeah, it's pretty complicated. But, you know, everyone here, the good thing about here is everyone's smiling and, you know, yeah. like we have our yeah. own community here. So, yeah. That's great. Uh, nice, nice. If I just, uh, you, you talked about housekeeping. What are the changes in housekeeping aside from, you mentioned earlier about them wearing PPEs. Are there, are there any changes? And how about, you also talked about uh, guests and, uh, and employees being checked, uh, temperatures being checked every time they go in and out of the building. So what, what are the procedures for that? So, so just like the guests, you know, when the guests check in, they need to um, write a health declaration form. So same mm. for all the employees. Actually, even if you don't go out of the hotel, we when you log in, uh, when you come into work, and when you get out, we have somebody who checks the um, temperature daily. So that's part of the protocols that we've actually started to practice. Um, to address your question about housekeeping, you know, we've always been very particular about cleaning, but for this season. Um, we, of course, the housekeepers have additional gears, but um, the chemicals that we use, you know, it's a bit, uh, you know, we added a few chemicals um, to okay. what we normally use before. So just to make sure that, you know, um, uh, we also make the clients feel confident that they're here, we kind of um, implemented a badge of cleanliness. So mm -hmm. just to make sure that, um, you know, we've actually used this specific um, chemical and, you know, um, cleaned all the touch points of the room say, you know, what's touched most inside the room. And we have big rooms here. The one you can see here is a two-bedroom suite. There's a lot of touch points. So we do right. put a, a, batch of, um, a batch of cleanliness in the toilet, in the beds, on top of the bed. So is it still a daily cleaning for the housekeeping? Um, okay. and how about turn down? Well, um, we don't do currently. Um, we're following the OT rules, so we're not really required to clean every day. Mm. So what we have is, um, you know, we give um, trash bags to our clients and, you know, um, you have to actually put out your trash daily, of course. Mm. You have to put it out of the room. We have certain instructions and letters. Actually, I've done, um, it's been how many weeks? Ia said 11 or 12 weeks, right? So I yeah. think we've done like five or six letters to guests, just, you know, keeping them updated. Yeah. You know right. when um when we started with ECQ and then it was we thought it was going Family to be ECQ. and we had to send another letter uh -huh. and then we had to make certain instructions and we had to make sure I even gave my number to everyone just to make sure that everyone's mind is at peace. Wow. So yeah, a, a lot of things to do. So yes. It's it's you know the connection is very important for us yeah. in yeah. in our industry. Uh, I'm sure Drew and Ia you, you that's as a guest or as mm. somebody who's a little bit extra careful now mm. you you're you also want to make sure that 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 connection that you know as filipinos we're very good when it comes to service right you you still mm. want that um, maintained somehow um and of course in 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 discovery we that's really one of the things that we constantly want to make sure that we can still guarantee our, our, our dear clients and our dear guests because it, it's very important. We, we have to think of them all the time. As what Nai said, she's always constantly talking to, the, trying to communicate to the guests, whether it's online or through a letter. The same thing with our general manager in Crimea. They, they're constant about informing all our in-house guests uh, in terms of what they need and what needs to be, um, to be done because of the changes that's happening. Uh, we, we also need to be vigilant with, with, the, with the government regulations, obviously. Right. And safety. Safety really is 
is and has always been very important for us uh, because we're we're in the the industry of taking care of guests. So yes, it is heightened, but it comes naturally for us. Right, Chris? Yep, yep. Now, now I appreciate um, all of you guys even more for I mean, running a uh, a hotel uh, as it is prior to this um, uh, the lockdown was already uh, challenging and mm. the added um, safety uh, protocols and personal touch and interaction that yeah. that each member of the, the team has to has to give to the to the customers that's just really um, uh, sort of uh, I wouldn't say challenging I'm sure you, you love your work but definitely there there's there's a there's a new um, added role to be played by by each and every member of the uh, the team and and I'm glad to hear from what Chef and uh, Nice has been saying that it's been um, really accepted and uh, and uh, imbibed without uh, resistance. So yes. and even in on the customer side, the, the guests uh, have been quite. Um, uh, patient and, and understanding, mm -hmm. yeah. right? When it comes to all these uh, changes. Now, uh, having that said, how long do you think um, uh, th these new standards would be, you know, in place? Do you think after uh, when the virus is, uh, when they found a cure, you think, um, you know, we will revert back to the old ways, or will it stay as if you're able to find uh, to establish systems for uh, checking in online and contactless? Um, are you going to keep that in place or, or would you revert back to the old ways of doing things? I think, oh yeah, I think everything is very fluid now, Chris. Um, I mean, in terms of protocols and regulations, there's a lot of things that's changing every day. But um, I guess no matter what, um, well, all hotels are actually moving to a digital platform um, with all the technology and everything. So... I guess we're actually going there anyways. I mean, it's just that, you know, we have a new virus that we're, we have to face head on. But I guess the customer touch really shouldn't go away. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, there's a lot of touch points that um, from the customer's journey, from the, how they book, the time they book, and the time they arrive until they depart. I think um, the Filipino hospitality is uh, the perfect example. You cannot... Uh, you cannot forget that you know the guest touch points is still important in uh, the hospitality industry, mm. and especially here our clients in Discovery Suites are long stay guests. So okay. we have yeah. guests here yeah. who's been here for years. Na we actually mm. my story is that we have this one guest who really wanted to play the piano because he's so isolated already, and you know there's oh. a piano in Twenty Two Prime. Mm. So. Like, you, you know, um, people here, they stay long and you cannot not have a relationship with them. Mm. Cannot be. So, um, okay. I think human touch is still very important. I think it will eventually go back slowly. You just have to be patient and wait. <laughs> yeah. Drew and Ia, what, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, in terms of, you know, adjusting to the new norm and will it ever go back to the way it was before or what I, uh, I think right now what's important really is the health and safety of of every individual so I mean you know we'll adjust to what to what the situation is but mm -hmm. of course the moment that uh, it's safe or safer and there's a vaccine available and you know there, there's, there's a, a cure then yeah. I, I would love for things to go back to the way it was, especially bit, because right? I mean, I think it's I think it's very Pinoy with you know with affection and and being mm -hmm. and, and, and just, I'm I'm just, like personally I'm a I'm a you know I love to hug. He's a hugger. I'm a hugger. <laughs> you know yeah. I you know if I meet you now like hey come come over here and then if you're pretty yeah. I'll kiss you on the lips. I mean <laughs> <laughs> no 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 but but really but it's, it, I really think it's it's uh, it's in the Pinoy yeah. to. To, to have that kind of, but that's why we're, we're that's why I was like I have to say I'm so proud that we were even able to make it through the three months because I mean come on the Philippines and the Filipino we're mm. known for fiestas we're known for making kumpol in one area yeah we're known correct for making tambayas groups uh, whatever canto 
So, I mean, I think it's a feat that we've made it this far with, uh, I mean, maybe some didn't comply, but uh, many did, and, and that I'm proud of. So, uh, I, I would like to think that in the future, we will be able to go back to our, to our ways. Mm. But I mean, but somehow, because of course, because everything's digital now, there is some sort of, uh, I mean, things have become a lot more efficient yeah. also. It's helping yeah. us like, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think, you know, somehow. Yes. Yeah. So you still use that and still be efficient in that platform and in that way, but still have, but be able to bring back that kind of personal touch. Yeah. yeah. No, I think touch. what one, what, <laughs> no, but <laughs> I think what, what, what's happening. What's happening now, you know, during ECQ, during quarantine, is that people don't know that people are learning. Yeah. People are adjusting, that's why, diba? So, parang, mm. if, uh, a good friend of mine uh, said na parang, if you don't pivot, you're going to perish. Yeah. So, if you don't adapt, diba? If, if you, ha- you need to adapt, you need to evolve. And I think that's what's happening naman that's in right. different industries now. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's a great thing. Um, of course, it's medio, it's it's quite uh, yeah. risky, no. I mean, of course, no one really Correct. wanted this to happen, but 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 ano eh, parang lalabas yung galing ng tao during these times, and yun na lang yung mindset ko. Like even with like me, I you know I'm not at least my wife is working from home. I you know I have to produce my own travel show, and I'm not you know <laughs> I can't travel. I can't produce my travel show. That's right. But I'm just. You have to be trying, agile and to be you have to, to adapt. be agile. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you have to be able to adapt, and you gotta think of ways how to how to earn. And yeah. uh, yun 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 eh. Parang parang before nga parang ah, uh, it's gonna be it's, it's hard to edit videos. And now you're like, no, I I, I gotta edit videos. Yeah. Parang, so you're learning new skills also. Yeah. Definitely. Kanya kanya rin yan. So I think. Uh, that, that's my take from from this. True, true. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, parang sa basketball, no? Diba? You play basketball too. But if you have a game plan yeah. from the start of the game and then it's not working as planned, the, the opponent does something else, mm. halftime or even before, you got to be able to adjust right away. Yeah. You not, have to pass the ball to Chris Chu <laughs> and take the half court exactly. shot. <laughs> exactly. If you want to win, you got to pass it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I, I guess resilience is a very important word nowadays, mm. right? And uh, especially in our industry, it's it's really one of the most affected uh, industry, yeah. obviously. And, uh, but we are resilient. Yeah. And yeah. I think it will bring out the best and the worst in people. And it will really yeah. show what you value the most. Mm. And yeah. having that said, nice. I, I want to uh, ask you about your, your team, no? the employees who... Um, who've had to stay in for how many days now? Seventy plus days, and those that are not able to come to work, um, how are you? Able, how are you dealing with that? Well, there are really roles that cannot, you know, the roles that they need to be here. So yeah. you know, mm-hmm. we, we we talk to them and say, you know, we need you here, uh, and we we need your commitment to stay with us. You know, wala, there's no persahan naman or anything. We talk to each people and say, you know, there. There are roles that, of course, like housekeepers and our engineers, they need to be here. Um, our front desk people, they need to be here. But there are also some work arrangements that can be kind of shifted. So um, we have allowed work from home as well. Okay. Right. Our owners yeah. actually are very general. Some they've um, actually um, given hazard pays to everyone during the whole mm-hmm. period. I mean, um, the, the meals are all available um 24 7 i mean we have so all yeah. have a small community here um i think probably people were closer people are bored the men kind of have a long hair na. i don't yeah. know i've been uh, seeing them you know you, i think you have to shave or cut your hair but uh, i guess uh oh, oh, when it reopens soon uh, you know some people do their own thing already you know um, take care of you know how you groom yourself you have to groom yourself of course especially even if you if you enter the room of the guest so a lot of things a lot of things happening but uh i guess it's all being again um one collab everyone collaborating to make sure you know 
everyone's worried also they might lose their jobs because you know the Manila Metro Manila occupancy has gone down mm. yeah. so much like what you were saying um if you check the reports Metro Manila has dropped to almost 20% in occupancy and ADR probably a thousand pesos so that's really not good so like um I was relating to what Drew was saying you have to kind of cope eh? like what will your game plan be what, how will you take care of your employees at the same time taking care of guests and making sure that, you know, um, you're a COVID-free hotel. So, yeah, it's a lot of things you have to balance. and. Uh, it's a good um, thing you still have hair. You don't no, pull out your hair too much, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, we cut our own hair na here. And, you know, yeah. You have to do things on your own. I used to love like take out and dining out. Now um, I'm in a two bedroom suite, so I actually cook my food also. I do my own yeah. stuff. So a lot of things has changed. Yeah. Okay, you know, now that you mentioned the word cooking, you know, it's been such a fad. Everybody seems to be cooking, right? It's, it means to become a chef. I know. It's, it's, it's been very, very interesting. So the culinary um, habits of people uh, have somehow uh, evolved in the last two months, right? Chef Anthony, how, how, are, we, how are we adjusting to these changes in the behavior? Obviously, the dining in experience in in restaurants um, there's a big factor in terms of service ambiance and now people are wanting to cook on their own um, and eventually when we go to mgcq hopefully the dine-in um, experience will come back slowly uh, as long as it's not crowded how how have we adjusted as a group yeah, um, Kathy. Right now, I think um, for that, just I think for speaking about all the cooks who are uh, who are cooking at home, I think it's, I think it's fantastic. I, I, I have to be honest. I think it's fantastic because I'm answering more questions now about um, gluten-free baking, about almond bread. Nice. Again, I wasn't a baker, but now I feel like I'm a professional baker now. I'm baking mm -hmm. all the time. Um, so even from a chef standpoint, I'm touching things or even cooking things that I wasn't even accustomed to doing before. And uh, now even my friends or friends of mine who have never done any cooking before, they actually reached out to me, Anthony, how do you cook a salmon? Anthony, I want to cook um, a blueberry muffin. How do we do that? So I think it's good. I think it's really healthy. Um, I love it. Um, I also think there's, a, there's a more of an awareness on ambient wellness. Um, now that more people are actually cooking at home, you know, so a lot of them are in, trying to understand you know, how much nutrients can I get to get. Mm. And um, I got two kids I got to deal with tomorrow morning. I got to be on level 10. Um, how <laughs> I keep me going, you know what I mean? Something. Uh, so it's good. I think it's interesting. Um, and also from the restaurant standpoint, I think my chefs, um, they're really catching on of trying to do online courses, uh, classes. Okay help on signature dishes that we're showcasing. Um, before it used to be a lot of, okay, this is a secret recipe, you can't touch this, this is. So now it's great to see like even you know, companies of Jollibee that they're selling their chicken uh, in the grocery stores. So I think for us in the hotel industry that we'll be following suit. Um, I think it's pretty exciting. I think our, the chef teams, um, even our bartenders want to start selling, uh, you know, do-it-yourself do cocktails at home. Right. Uh, you can it's, um, so I, I think and also in the hotel and restaurant industry, um, everyone's kind of unifying and letting out their secrets now. Um, and I think it's, I think it's fantastic. Yeah. I think, um, everyone, you know, is, uh, well, again, you know, I mean, so what Drew was mentioning earlier, you know, with the news and I mean, there's such, we're living in a very cynical time right now, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So anything that can actually focus on happiness, positivity, um, you know, where it helps on cooking because I find it very therapeutic. Um, mm -hmm. also, I think it's really good for the chefs who are all into this, uh, not only here in the Philippines, but for the rest of the world. You know, chefs and, and everyone coming together like that. So I think it's great. Yeah. I think uh, the chefs also nowadays are, are happy to share. 
and we somehow allowed them to share our our um our recipes uh i mean nice mentioned it earlier right that chef jerwin even has live cookings i think chef beam came out on tv the other day in from premia uh right. we've been sharing uh favorites uh of uh, favorite recipes in social media i think people are now really it it's 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 a great way to engage despite all these uh happenings the the scary uh, um, can I just can I just add something? Yes, true, probably uh, a probably probably a suggestion or recommendation. No? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. a, a couple of weeks ago, uh, a friend of mine who's actually who owns a restaurant as well, um, he sent over uh, a kit, uh, yeah. a boodle fight kit, and right. and and it's such a great idea because you know it, it's hard to dine in. We all know that. Um, yeah. and dining in part of the experience of dining in is you're, you're eating with your eyes. It's the presentation, it's everything. Right. Mm -hmm. So when, 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 when he sent over a boodle kit, I was like, I did it myself. It was of course DIY. And I'm like, Hey, th this is such a great idea because it was presented well, by me, you know, it wasn't like the best, but it was still, it was still a presentation. It's a visually yeah. appealing, Where yeah. It's, it's it's eye candy, and you know, and because of it, because of its eye candiness, you're 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 gonna eat, you're you're gonna have a better eating experience, right? So, parang what I'm think, what I'm probably trying to recommend is, you know, um, if they can't go to to your restaurant, maybe the restaurant can go to their houses, can go to the mm. people, and probably, you know, it's it's all about presentation. That's why a lot of people are doing the the kits nowadays. Maybe, yeah. I mean. It, it, as a customer, I'm I'm saying it's 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 mm -hmm. actually working. Yeah, it's it has that different. It's not just like a takeout when you know it's it's in, it's in the brown bag and then you you know you, you tear it out and you eat from the whatever paper yeah. cup. That's right. But when you present it yourself, right. and you do it yourself. It's it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Drew. Yeah. Yeah, add to that. I mean, been... yeah, there are friends of mine who are not really um how do I say savvy and uh, throughout this experience, I've noticed that even um. Kids, wives, husbands, they had to spend their birthdays in the quarantine mode. You know what I mean? So these do-it-yourself kits, uh, what you were saying, even from a boodle fight, from even pastas or a pizza or bread, it's fantastic. I think it's fantastic. And doing it with your, I mean, be able to do that, interacting with your wife or with your kids, even more. You know what I mean? So as you said, I, yeah, I think the program's working very well in that, in that regard. Actually, um, we also had like uh, really good burgers the other day. Mm -hmm. Like they sent over the bread and then wow. the patties and you know, all of it is stuff that you have to prepare for yourself. But right. I mean, once you do prepare it all, it's like, wow, I've got a fresh right. burger. No, not, not, <laughs> not, it's actually, it's, it's, uh, it's also from Savior, uh, <laughs> our alum, another alumni <laughs> from, from Savior, Chris. But uh, of course, right now, um, uh, parang we have that, uh, how should I say this? More media mileage. That's why when people send food, um, no brainer. We we just wanna we, we try it out, of course. But our objective is to push to, promote, to yeah. help support the uh, you know small businesses and and one of which now was uh, Hack and Sack, and they had this DIY burger mm. kits. And it's funny now. Wow, okay, it's burger, but you're like you do it yourself, and you're like, there's nothing like eating fresh fries, fresh, freshly, freshly cooked, cooked fries. French fries. <laughs> That's right. right? You know, so yeah. yeah, I mean, it's 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 a it's a great experience. Yeah, it's really evolving. Actually, there's this meme that I saw online. Um, the question was, so who in the company was someone who initiated the digitalization and uh, deliveries in your company? Was it the CEO, COO, CFO, or COVID nineteen? <laughs> <laughs> right, bro. That's true. Yeah. I mean, a yeah, lot of many people, would have uh, never even thought of doing this. But yeah. you know, there's no need. You know, they're very traditional. Yeah. You know, there's no volume and whatnot. But with this whole episode, parang everybody just had to adapt. Yeah. Sharpen their skills. Yeah. 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 You have people who weren't even baking before and cooking, and then only for them to discover, hey, I can make a pretty good dish, and then selling it now online, and then that's their means of income now. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, it's very true. Yeah, I was just saying, I think after this, or um, I really believe there's going to be a chef driven delivery restaurants that will be a huge feature after this. Mm -hmm. I mean, there won't be any more, you know, uh, wall or mortar or at least uh, getting a restaurant down. I mean, a lot of people would probably might be doing this at home, I mean, on a virtual kitchen or so forth, but I completely agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Chef Anthony is super busy because that's all he's planning. And no, in no. fact, some of those ideas uh, are already happening. Yeah. First Quietly. off, we're all busy. And the second <laughs> off, that's a fantastic team, okay? I don't, yeah, I don't want to be taking all credits for this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's a team <clears throat> effort. That's what I said. And again, um, this is not to tip to our owners, but I think we, you know, we're, we're in discovery. We're all happy to work. Uh, together we we have that sense of um, really working as a team so despite the the different challenges it's a little bit easier to work when you have a, a group of of people who have the mm -hmm. same intentions no, I mean, I, cooperate. yeah I mean yes. this, I mean of course this is this, this is not a, a paid partnership with you guys but I, I mean I, I I've seen it firsthand ever since before you know, I mean, of course, uh, I'm talking about the great June Pareño, lalo na, not just when he's watching he was right now. Who's watching right now, Sir June? I miss you so much. No, no, I mean, I've, I've, I've experienced that in Discovery Suites. You know, it, diba parang, it trickles down to everyone. If you have that culture, everyone, if they will yeah. feel like it's a family. It is a family. No, it's true. And, and, and then I, I know that because when, when, when Sir June transferred to Shores, uh, you know, I, I saw it firsthand. Like, it, it was just, it, it was really just one big family. A lot of discovery groups now, maybe it's just like my, my siblings who are in New Zealand now or in America, but it's still one family. That's and right. I totally but, see it firsthand. And that is what Discovery Hospitality is all about, right? Kathy? Definitely. Definitely. Right. Exactly. So, so I think, Kathy, we're out of time, no? Or it's almost yes. four. I'll let, I'll let you wrap up. But before you wrap up, I just want to... Uh, 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 let everybody know those who just tuned in or who just joined us and uh, who weren't able to catch uh, the start. Now, they're actually watching the series entitled World of Discovery. And today's episode is about uh, home safe, the duty and of care behind health and safety, uh, especially in the hospitality industry. And our guests, yeah. of course, Drew and Ia Arellano, uh, nice Discovery Suites, <laughs> and uh, Chef Anthony. Um, and I'd also like to invite everybody to follow the social media accounts of Discovery Hospitality uh, on Facebook. That's Discovery Hospitality Corp. And on Instagram, that's Discovery underscore Hospitality. Okay, so Kathy, would you like to wrap up? Yes. Well, you know, I was gonna, going to ask uh, or do you have another question? about okay. their, their, their most memorable experience. Okay. But then I guess your last uh, statement really somehow says it all right Fuera bola. <laughs> well no 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 i mean I, it's funny because we, i i have endless memories you know yeah. I, I which can... is why we keep on coming back yeah but but i remember one i remember one it was actually uh a surprise okay. uh this in 22 prime because my wife i my my favorite Go to when it comes to steaks. Talagang twenty two prime yan. For for I mean, sorry, wala wala walang walang tatal yeah, dyan. Walang I mean, it, it's everything. It's it's definitely the steaks. We've searched near and far. <laughs> I mean, it's it's the steaks, but at the same time, it's the ambiance. Of course, the hospitality that the trademark na discovery service and di ba lalo na with, with the view you know from the twenty second floor, it's lovely. Lalo na kapag sun sun I mean sunset. But I remember, I say, um, before we, you know, conclude this uh, webisode, um, my wife um, surprised me. We had a dinner date there, mm -hmm. and then, of course, if, um, pag nakapunta ka na sa Twenty Two Prime, there's a grand piano there, yeah. right? And she performed. Wow! She performed. Wow! Wow! What did you say? What did you say? I did. I was so surprised because uh, she said, "Ah, excuse me." And of course, I thought she was gonna go to the bathroom, right? But then I started, you know, hearing her sing. Right? What did you say? No, I, I think I think you I think you sang. Uh, what did 
Man. Um, I, can't, I, I actually can't remember. I, uh, anyway, <laughs> apparently it's not that memorable. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad it was memorable for you. No, no, no. It was memorable for me because you, you sang. You sang. Thank you so much. Are you sure that was me? <laughs> Wait, I think so. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. yeah. But that is a great idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting yeah. ideas here. Huh? Actually, yeah. I love it because I know. Yeah, you're such a great pianist, bro. Yeah, Galing, it's huh? hard because with this guy, Pani, it's too hard to surprise this guy. But at least this is a discovery. I know it's a no-fail. Because it's going to make him happy. Basta bigyan niyo siya ng steak. Ganun ba? I just need to order the steak and that's... Well, I mean, it's it's kind of hard to give this guy gifts and to surprise him. Mm -hmm. and what? You surprised me with our second and third kid, so it's <laughs> easy to surprise. Come on. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Bring that what? See, I'm surprised. That's a good surprise. Yeah. yeah. We, we've had a lot of good experiences that I go with Discovery. Um, thank you. Thank that's, you for sharing that. That's, that's great to hear. And, that's uh, so yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, you know, guests like you, um, are the reason why we're in this industry. Making you happy is always, it always makes our job a little bit easier every day, right? Right, Nice and Anthony yes. and, and Chris, you, you hear a lot of our stories, our internal stories. So it's, this is what we do. And you know, our guests' feedback is really what, what's very important to us. It's, it's like our lifeblood daily, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. I'm gonna be sending you guys some steaks, huh? I'm gonna get her <laughs> If you guys are this close to us in Discovery it's, Suites, I'm sending you guys some steaks. Yeah. It actually worked. Yeah, or yeah. actually, oh, the plan is since well, well, dining is not yet allowed there, eh, but um, once we open, we're planning really to have, you know, to serve some to serve the food inside the room, that's even possible. But if it's allowed, but not yet, eh, we can't do that. But mm. the chefs here, of course, the chefs here, when they cook the steak, it's still different, right? Versus if we cook it at home. But uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's totally but different. Yeah, once it's, uh, you know, once it's open, then we'll have something uh, prepared for you. Wait, Kathy, are you okay? Did you? Yes, did you I'm fall? fine. Sorry. Okay. All no, right. No, my 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 papers uh, fell. <laughs> no, I was gonna say yes. A lot of uh, experiences to look forward to, the safe way, right? Right. And right. and with discovery, you are home safe, definitely. Hey, can can I just can I just say can I just say I just really wanna you know. Uh, if, if ever, like, you know, uh, some people, you know, in the Discovery Group are listening because y you've been really part of uh, part of my life since 2000. Okay. That was 20 years ago. That's and, nice. you know, from from the Concerge, Silla Edward, yeah, it's, it's just pretty much the same team. The front desk, I don't know anymore, but I know, you know, the Concerge, uh, same people. Um, also, you know, whenever we experience um, Discovery Shores, always great people. That's why we wanna we wanna thank you. Really, we wanna thank you for making our stay all the time so memorable, and it, and it's special. It's special all the time. Really, we, ay nako. Papatatu na lang ako ng Discovery dito. <laughs> you made everyone happy today. Thank you. Yes. Compliment. Yes, deserve it. Thank, thank you, you thank you very much okay well um that's our webinar show for today um but before that let me just ask all our 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 guests and you our understand. our friends who are listening in you can actually answer a we'd like to invite you there's a short survey in the link in the caption of our facebook page so uh, again this is uh, for the purpose of getting feedback um, so if you have the time, please do that. And also, um, we are also open for one-on-one -on -one consultation. You can uh, um, ask questions privately. As you know, Dis Discovery Hospitality Corporation is a management company that offers other services, uh, shared services like management of uh, food and beverage, opening up of small resorts to big city hotels, so you can always contact us through our different social media accounts and through our website. Um, and also, again, our, our 
social media account handles are at Discovery Hospitality Corp on Facebook and at Discovery underscore Hospitality on Instagram. Drew and Ia, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, thank guys. You. Yes. And uh, congratulations on, on your third baby coming up. Baby coming up. Yeah. yeah. Are you still doing the headstands? Because I follow you and I G. Like, yeah. Are you still doing that, Ia? Yeah. You you just do stands and you know you you do wait. Just like, just just the hands just the handstands. But yeah, because hand we don't, <laughs> we don't have the the same um, padded area that we would have if we were to go to the gym. Yeah. Um, mahirap dito sa tiles eh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much again for sparing one hour of your precious time. And of course, Nice and Chef Anthony, thank you very much. I know you guys are busy. Chris, as always, we will see each other again in, in, two, in two weeks. Two weeks time. <laughs> thank you for being my partner in crime, boss. Always. <laughs> always. <laughs> thank you very much again. And Stay safe, everyone, and we'll see you back in two weeks.